Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope y'all are having a great day. Today, we are going to be looking at six moves to level up your FPV flying. If you're like myself, you guys have probably been flying with this um, in the DJI Avada, and uh, there's not many moves really. It's, it's really limited as far as the skills that you can do. You can't really fly backwards. Um, so today, we're going to be looking at um, ways to level up your FPV flying, and uh, let's wait no longer. Let's get into move number one. Move number one with this guy, it's going to be something that you guys probably are already familiar with the term. It's just really a figure eight. And um, what you really want to do is just make an eight in the sky, um, like showing on the screen right now. Literally just practice your left turns, practice your right turns and just keep doing it in a circle um, until you get comfortable. First off, you want to start with something really, really big and broad um, until you get comfortable with the controls. And then as you get more comfortable with moving left and right and forward, um, then you want to try to bring this, the figure eight into a smaller, smaller, smaller shape. And um, the point of this is so you can get more sensitive to the controls because um, when you really are going to be getting better and you're going to be flying, um, especially in manual mode, today we're just looking at normal and sport mode, um, you're going you're gonna to want to be adjusted to the sticks and know how sensitive they are. So the smaller the, the figure eight, the better. And uh, yeah, that's it for move number one, really simple term, but we're going to get a little deeper into the next one. Okay, move number two. Um, I think this is a big one um, because it's all about sharp turns and sharp turns are really important because when you're coming up on something say you're about to wreck or something you need to learn how to stop turn and keep going and not get into the not spam the brake button and, and get into this this panic mode um, you want to stay calm and in order to not go into this panic mode you need to start practicing your turns so what i mean by this is literally just find a tree find a pole um, find a wall that's a corner and just practice go full throttle all the way you could put it, um, I would start in normal mode, just go full throttle all the way in normal mode. Right as up you get to this tree, right as you get to the pole, as the corner, you want to pull back on the throttle a little bit and swing the, the left stick either right or to the left, depending on which way you're turning. And once you make that turn, increase the throttle again and just do this over and over again until you get the repetition, get the muscle memory down, and soon you'll be able to make turns. And the end goal of this is to make smooth, elegant turns and Really, when you're when you're in the the headset, you don't want to like have this jolty moves. You want to have a smooth, elegant turn that that can be used for cinematic footage if you need to be in the future. And uh, just keep practicing that over and over again. And once you're feeling comfortable in normal mode, then move to smart smart sport mode. Jeez, I can't talk. And uh, you'll get a little faster. And then you'll get even more sensitive to controls. And just keep practicing, practice, practice, because that's the one thing that's going to get you better is uh, practice. So the third move. Um, this will be really, really simple, but really just circling an object. And I don't mean like facing um, just one direction and moving the right stick around in a circle to go around the object. Um, no. So what you really want to practice is focus on the camera on something. Um, say for a, a sports net example, say a field goal post, just find something wherever you're flying in the field and uh, just take the time. And you really want to focus on keeping the thing in the center of the screen. And if you can keep it in the center of the screen and not have it move from, from right to left, um, then you're going to get a lot better and you're going to be able to make the cinematic footage for people that, that they want. Um, so really simple just controls for it is you want to move the stick, the left stick one way and the right stick the other. And uh, either pu push them inwards and you'll be going around to the left or push them outwards and you'll be going around to the right of the object. Um, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about left and right. Um, but yeah, so you, you want to just make sure that you're taking your time and really, really think about the movement of your stick. So when you're, when you're circling this object, just start, start with something simple. If it's not perfect, it's fine. You got to practice, but really understand the difference, um, between these two joysticks here, because this right, this right stick is going to be moving your whole actual drone, the direction of your drone and the left stick is going to be moving where you look. So as you're flying and you're thinking about this, really focus in on, okay, if I move the right stick a little further to the right, it's going to keep going right. And it's going to circle that. It's going to keep going sideways more than it's going to be turning. And if you're moving this, this left stick right here faster, then you're going to be turning a lot faster than you're going to be moving. So that's just something to keep in mind. If, say, for example, um, after, you, after you master these circle turns, then you move to like an oval or you move to something that's wider. And what you're going to actually have to train yourself to do is to move, not just keep a constant circle around something and keep it in the same position, but you're going to have to actually stretch out the long moves 
And once you get to that little shorter end of the oval, then you're going to have to turn a little faster and then you're going to have to stretch it out again and then turn a little faster. And that's going to train you um, and make sure you're going both ways. You're going around to the left and around to the right and uh, even keep track of it. Like you, you do drills, like if you're playing sports or something, because uh, um, just do it over and over again and commit to saying doing 100 circles a day or something like that. And uh, you'll see the improvement for sure. All right, moves four through six are gonna be with a little twist on it. So first move, think about a figure eight, okay? We're just keeping the solid level. We're not really moving the left stick other than left and right to turn it, and we're moving the throttle forward. Um, now what we wanna do is when once we have mastered this throttle going forward and backwards, the speed of the drone and the direction and the turns, the next step is elevation. So in order to do this, we need to start mastering the figure eight with elevation change. So for the figure eight, what you wanna do when you're changing elevation is when you're coming around the turns, say, say you're, you start the figure eight, and as soon as you reach the end of the figure eight where you're turning back the other direction, you wanna start um, lowering your elevation and start coming down closer to the ground at a steady rate until you get all the way to the other side of the figure eight. Once you reach the other side of the figure eight, then you can start um, raising elevation again. And you can do this over and over again, and then you can alternate it. So when you're turning right, when you make that right turn and you're raising elevation, make sure you switch it. And when you make that right turn, you're going lower elevation. And this is going to, it's going to help you think about all three um, of these joystick moves that you have because you have the throttle where you're moving the drone, then you have the turns and the elevation. And this is something that's super important because when you're trying to, when you're trying to fly over mountains or trying to fly over buildings, you want to keep that elevation. Elevation is something that's super important that you don't want to run into. Um, so that's it for move four. Let's hop into move five. So move five is gonna be very similar to the second move um, that we talked about earlier, and that is gonna be um, sharp turns. So instead of doing sharp turns, um, we're still gonna be doing sharp turns, but we're just gonna add the elevation aspect to it. So say for example, you can find a bar, um, say a field goal post or whatever, and instead of making like a right turn or a left sharp turn, um, what you wanna practice doing is go forward, go, go, you're going straight, then you see a bar, you fly under the, the bar, and what you want to do is pull back your throttle and raise, raise the elevation a little bit and spin it to the left or to the right to make a full 180 degree turn. And that's going to be very, very helpful because you're going to be able to spin around, go the complete other direction. Say you're about to run into a wall and you don't want to wreck your drone. So you already have this mu muscle memory built in where you can spin around fast and you're getting the elevation aspect of it. So when you are Say you want to fly through these objects and whatnot, you really want to practice this elevation change. A perfect example, um, probably some footage right here, is the FPV simulator. There's, there's plenty of FP, uh, in the DJI FPV simulator. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's just a simulator that you put the goggles on and it's free. Um, you just download the app on your phone and do it. Um, but you can literally fly through these objects. Just practice on here until you get the rhythm of it and then apply it and take it out in the real world. Um, cause that's what I've been doing. Um, you, you want to start on a simulator and kind of once you're comfortable with the controls, once you have the muscle memory down, take it out into the real world because there is a big difference in the wind resistance and you don't want to get used to just FPV, FPV simulator. And then when you go out and say you have a job or you're doing it in front of people and you look stupid because the wind is blowing your drone and you're not used to that. So make sure you're practicing more in real life than you are in the simulator. The simulator should just be a really short training process that gets you comfortable with the, with the controller. And uh, stay tuned for the end because we're going to talk about how you should hold your controller because um, it really is important. All right, move number six. Um, this one is going to be very similar to move number three, and that's going to be circling an object. So what we want to do, um, especially what, what's really cool that some clips out there is where they circle like a silo at a farm or they circle this concrete um, pole in the sky. And instead of just circling it, you really want to get the depth of the pole and how tall it is. So what, so what we want to do is we want to do the same exact moves that we were doing. We want to move either both of the sticks to the inside, both of the sticks to the outside, but then we're also going to add some elevation change. And what you just want to do is take your left stick, move it up a little bit or move it down a little bit, depending on if you want to raise your elevation or lower your elevation. Once you practice the circles without touching the elevation, then you can move into the elevation. And just, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to circle the object and you're going to raise the elevation just a little bit and you're going to get that spiral effect around. And you're going to capture a lot more depth in the photo because you're going to get the, the ground is going to be moving further away from the camera and vice versa if you're going down. Um, so this is going to capture that cinematic footage. It's going to be something super simple that you can do um, for, any, and for yourself, for anyone um, that is looking for some FPV footage. And yeah, this isn't really the crazy FPV footage um, that you most mostly see online like because this is just sport and manual mode um, so another thing to note here is when you guys are going through all these start with just normal mode 
And once you once you master this normal mode, once you get comfortable with it, you're like, okay, this is this is getting good. I'm confident. Then move into sport mode, and that'll even give you another challenge. Um, and make sure you guys make sure you guys subscribe, um, like, comment if you guys want to see future videos, um, because I'm gonna be flying manual soon. Um, and if you guys are interested in some tutorial videos on manual and you like what you've seen so far, um, make sure you guys uh, hit the notification button so you guys don't miss out on that video. And just a quick little bonus tip um, here, you guys. More than six moves, but we're also providing a lot of knowledge too. Um, just on how to hold your controller, I think it's just something that I should comment on here um, because it really is important. And uh, this is very simple, obviously. If you saw my last video on it, um, then you guys know what my thoughts are on this. So check that out after after this video. And uh, so this controller right here is something different. Um, if any of you guys have played Xbox, PS4, um, then you're probably familiar with this. And so one of the common... Um, methods of Xbox players, especially any Call of Duty fans out there, um, was the claw method. And uh, so what you, instead of holding the controller normal with just your thumbs on the joystick, what you actually want to do is take your, your pointer fingers and hold the joystick with the pointer fingers and the thumb and the pointer fingers on the thumb on both sides. Then you have three more fingers and those wrap around the back side of the drone. Um, so it'll be just like this. And you'll have a lot more control over these joysticks. Um, and it is, it is hard at first getting comfortable with using your middle fingers and your ring fingers in the back here, especially to adjust the camera if you um, are commonly doing that. But once you get comfortable with it and you practice with it, you're gonna be a lot more mobile and agile in the sky. Well, I don't have one yet, um, but there's lanyards and you can actually, instead of like having to sit down and have someone like you sit in your lap, you can actually have these lanyards and it'll sit like right here and you can adjust the size and then it'll kind of hold up the remote for you. So you don't actually have to spend, use that muscle to hold up the remote, but you'll actually have that lanyard already on there where you don't have to hold up the remote and you can just focus on the movements. So that is something um, that I highly recommend doing and just get pr just practice on DJI Simulator until you, until you get the hang of it. You'll get a lot, you'll be surprised at the improvement that you make um, just doing it a few hours and uh, you'll see the difference. So uh, that's, that's also a very big tip. Practice the claw, do it as much as you can um, and get a lanyard because that'll help you hold the weight of your drone. So if you guys like the channel, um, we are going to be doing some more videos on droning. We're traveling a lot too. So check out my other content on there. Um, and also we're doing some mindful stuff. You know, you got to keep, keep the mind right um, for any of you guys drone flyers um, in order to fly the best. And we're also something I'm really excited about. I just got this, uh, um, this anti-flicker light here. Let's see if it blinds the camera too much. Okay. These are the anti-flicker lights. It actually gives you the availability to fly at night. Um, so we'll be taking some night photography with the, the regular Mavic and, uh, I'm thinking we could strap this right here and we'll be able to fly the FPV at night. So uh, that'll be really sick. Um, make sure to check out my Instagram because I'll be posting FPV footage on my Instagram and uh, you guys will be able to see the short content instead of having to watch a whole YouTube video on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment what you guys want me to see next um, or what you guys want to see next. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.